Tailgate, they're back with Fat Boy Model Shop. How y'all guys doing today? Um, I know y'all probably want an update on the 67 Camaro. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. Um, I posted some pictures on uh, Google+. Plus. The body was looking uh, immaculate. And uh, I kind of had a problem with it. And I'll just go ahead and show you guys. Um, this is where I'm at on it. And no, I didn't get frustrated and, uh, step on it. Um, I was really sleepy and I come out here in the shop and, uh, I had it up, setting up on my pedestal and I was, I keep a lot of my jar paints in the overhead cabinet above where I work and I was trying to get some stuff out to, to, I spray some interior and chassis parts and bottles started falling all over the table and the body fell over and I picked it up and it fell over again to keep it from getting scratched. I set it in the chair and I said, well, you know, I'll go get me a drink. I was kind of thirsty and I come back and was going to get it out of the chair then and sat right down on it. So, uh... It's not salvageable, but you can see that I really had a hell of a paint job on it, and the bare metal full was flawless. But, what can you do? Um, I don't throw I just tossed it back in the trash, and uh, I got a whole new kit. And, uh, no, I'm not going to build it right now. I got so discouraged, uh, I jumped on something new, which is something, I've been wanting to build something that was a, that was a street car that had a like a teardrop hood scoop, a Ford, old Ford. I've been wanting one, and I had this kit, and I said, you know what? I think I'll just go ahead and build this, get my mind off the 67. I'm on vacation all week. Go ahead and build something nice, and uh, get ready for the box stock build. And uh, so uh, I decided to build a 64 Ford Fairlane. And, uh, let me show you guys what I got here. And, uh, it's completely finished. And I know, uh, Chevy Cheeseburger mailed me out some, uh, some parts for it. And I was supposed to get them tomorrow. But after I started getting it together, I, he's sending me some, uh, Pro-Tech, uh, window cranks and door handles for the interior the detail in the side panels is a little dull but uh i just i'm not going to use them i just don't think you're going to be able to really see them i mean you know everything's blacked out in there and it's just i just don't think you'll be real noticeable so uh i think i'm going to save them on something else so i apologize chevy for them rushing them out to me buddy I just uh, decided I wouldn't put them on this build, but I will put them on something else. But uh, I do have a lot of upgrades uh, I put on uh, this car, and yes, I purchased them all from my Extreme Scale Details. So uh, if you guys uh, aren't aware of that, uh, you know, it has a website. It's uh, ExtremeScaleDecals.com. And. Uh, Get on there and check out his eye, his stuff. He's got real good prices. So, uh, needless to say, uh, this I painted it. This is Inca Gold, uh, one coat lacquer, and that's pretty much the whole can. And I did, I went right over white with it. I didn't uh, I didn't spray it over black. I've had a few people ask me if I went over it with black. I did not go over it with black. I strictly over the bare plastic. Uh, I, I shoot a light coat on and I let it dry. I shoot underneath the body first and then I let it dry and shoot a light coat over top of the body before I do any sand. I use that pretty much as a primer. And uh, the bare metal's flawless on it. Um, then I put in about a whole can of the wet look clear. And then I spent quite a bit of time rubbing it out. And, uh, that's, these door handles was a bear to get on. They were really hard, but I managed to get them. Um, I'm going to show you guys inside detail, interior details. I don't know if you can see them, but I got seat belts in the front. 
in the rear. I've, I've, I bare metal the straps in the front and the rear on the seats. I flopped the floorboard black. And I don't think that's going to show up at all. Like I said, you know, that's why I didn't put... But it looks really nice up close. You can see the shifter in there. And you can see the uh, steering wheel. And uh, show you guys the gauges there. I don't know if they're showing up. I've done them white. I just don't know if they're going to show up or not. But uh, everything went together pretty good on this. Except when I got ready to put the chassis uh, mounted on the body. I just had some stuff go wrong. Um, and uh, I had to change the ride height a little bit. I just didn't, just didn't like how it said. I wanted a street car, a street machine. And I just... So I had to adjust the ride height for a little bit, and then uh, I ended up, I don't know where that come from, but I polished most of it out. I don't know how that got on there, but uh, shit happened. What can I say? I can't win for losing this week, but uh, I'll show you guys underneath the hood. I mean, underneath the uh, car, nothing special. I just pretty much put it together. Um, had a little trouble with them headers. But uh, I managed to get it all together. And uh, I put photo etched uh, rear license plate bracket. And I dry brushed a Ford on there. That's not a decal. And then I, I put a photo etched uh, front license plate bracket also. And that's the 427 uh, license plate. I uh, black washed the grill. Um. I got the uh, the windshield wipers on there, and uh, that was something else that, that fought me a little bit. Uh, the right one, I mean, the, uh, my left, y'all was right, probably. That one really fought me. It's a little warped. I had to bend it some to get it to lay on the glass. But uh, I'll show you guys under the hood, and this is one of the problems I run into. Uh, when I got ready to put everything together, the traction bar broke off, and uh, so I'm going to have to fix that and glue it back on. It looks like a two-year-old put this thing together underneath I got where I got the glue spots there and there, but it'll be fixed. You know, I got the part, and I just, I got to fix it. It broke, and then I'm going to uh, glue it back in there, and you'll never be able to tell it happened, but uh, I didn't really, I was going to wire the motor up and, I decided I'd done so much details to the interior that I just let this one slide with just uh just a clean engine. You know, there's really not a whole lot you can do. I got some some battery cable stuff in from Chip, and you know the battery's in the trunk in this, so you know that's useless. It didn't have no uh, heater in these cars, so you know no radiator hoses. That's something else I got in. I started to put a the wire to the distributor, I said, you know what, I'll just go out the box with it underneath the hood. But I did manage to put the 427 my Badger emblems, I put them on the valve covers and they turned out real nice. But um, that's pretty much it under the hood. Let's see if I can get this thing. Uh, I had to reshape the hood a little bit to get it to sit in there and on the body right i notice a lot of people when they build these the hood kind of tilts up it's caused a little prongs that's on the side of it it's a little wider than what's supposed to be for the body so i, I cut them little prongs off and then i block sanded the hood so to sit down in there better but um that's pretty much all i can say you know i went with uh this kit come with uh striped uh red white or black and i went with a red and that really breaks it up that really makes it look good and i went with a keystone max so uh that's all i can say about this one fellas uh i appreciate everybody that subscribes to me and uh i appreciate everybody that watches my videos well that's all i can say about this one fellas uh i probably won't Work on nothing until the box stock build. You know, I'm just going to sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of my vacation. So that's all I can say about this one, fellas. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.